The new Ford Contour is full of great ideas at a great price. Exciting ideas, like quadrilink suspension for crisp, responsive handling. Comforting ideas, like air conditioning and Contour's exclusive Micron air filter. Safe ideas, like dual airbags and remote heated mirrors. Sound ideas, like an AM-FM stereo cassette. And maybe the best idea, you get all this for just $14,670. Great ideas at a great price. The totally new Ford Contour. Baseball's best play the summer's hottest hit. The Yankees, the Dodgers, the Rangers, and the Phillies are all on Baseball Night in America, Monday on ABC Sports. Well, that smoke at the back of Jimmy Vassar's car turned into a major problem, Jackaroot. Well, indeed it did for Jimmy Vassar, a broken header and then a fire in the engine compartment. Yeah, it's real unfortunate, you know. We had a good weekend going, and, uh, you know, we're happy about the performance of the team, but uh, seems like a few times too many we've been plagued with uh, this kind of bad luck. But it breaks your string of podium finishes. You've been doing quite well. Yeah, we have been, but uh, you can't rest on your laurels. You know, you got to come out and race every weekend, so we'll we'll get back at Cleveland and give it our best. Is there a new aggressiveness to, to Jimmy Vassar after that victory, albeit a couple of hours later in Portland? Well, I, don't, I feel like I'm the same Jimmy Vassar I've always been, and, uh, you know, the team's coming together and doing a great job. We've been running good all year and had some bad luck early on, but, uh, you know, that's motor racing. we just got to load it up and uh, come out and do our best job, and, and, and hopefully we'll do better. Paul? Jimmy's first DNF since his crash while in the lead at the Indianapolis 500. All right, now, that's what what's happening at the front of the field is Michael Andretti and Bobby Rahal still staying together, but you heard the wisdom of Carl Hogan to have Rahal keep a little bit back. Then Jack Villeneuve is still 19 and a half seconds back from Bobby Rahal, but Teo Fabi and Jill DeFerrin have closed in on the back of Jack Villeneuve, so he has his hands full and doesn't seem to be able to make up any time on the leaders. So here's the key battle on the race course. We'll keep an eye on Jack Villeneuve at the same time and see how he handles up Bobby and DeFerrin. Going to the closing laps now. Final 10 wraps. Laps, let's go to Jack Aroot. Well, Paul, let's update you. It seems as if Carl Hogan's advice to back off from Michael Andretti has solved the problem. The temperature is stabilized. What they've also done is they've gone to full rich on the fuel mixture, and they say right now they're back in the hunt to try and chase down Andretti. Full rich, of course, will let the engine run a little bit cooler but they are back 1.78 seconds, Jack, right now, so they have got a little work cut out for them, but there is time to do it. In the meantime, Jack Villeneuve has his hands full of the Italian tail. Bobby, look at the buildup on the outside of that corner. Yeah, and I'm sure Ray Hall and Andretti are both looking at that, too, because they know that if Bobby's going to find his way past Michael, he's going to have to be out in stuff like that, probably. And uh, under a breaking, an out-breaking maneuver, Lynn showed us the two possible zones, uh, both at the end of straightaways, but it's going to be tough. Let's go to Jack Aroot once again. Well, you think a race for the lead's important, a race for position just so very important for Jack Villeneuve, knowing that he's in a points chase. His team green, Barry Green, the chief, has radioed to him, don't give up the position. Fight for it. Points are at stake. Back behind this battle, Robbie Gordon has just gotten around Raul Boisel and moved into fifth place. There seems to be a gap there that just got between, uh, and it may, may have been traffic, but between Michael and, and Ray Hall. And yeah, there think. it is. It's Guzman, and Guzman is chopping Ray Hall off right now. So Guzman is playing once again a major role, and, and it's helping Michael. Interestingly, uh, headline today, Michael complaining about Guzman in practice yesterday or in qualifying. He cost him a hot lap, held him up. Today, the tables are turned, and it's Mauricio Guzman who's helping Michael. Guzman is actually in 13th, two laps back. I'm sorry, just when we say we've got a long time to go, only eight laps to go, and Bobby's got his work cut out for him. On board with Adrian Fernandez, has moved his way up to seventh place. The focus is still at the front of the field as 90 laps are complete, just eight to go in Toronto. Beyond the Arctic Circle, beyond the tree line, beyond experience. Molson Ice Polar Beach Party, Labor Day, with Metallica and Hull also appearing, Baruka Salt and Moist, Tuk Tuk Canada. See displays for details. Get up there.
This is the Texaco Haviland stock car. And this is the Texaco Haviland Indy car. And while these cars run on special fuels, we figured it was still a good way to remind you that Texaco Clean System 3 gasolines give your car unsurpassed performance. And Texaco Haviland Formula 3 motor oil and Texaco antifreeze coolant provide complete protection. But if we really wanted you to remember our name, maybe we should have sponsored something slower. guns of racing and on their Sunday afternoon showdown these next generation superstars start with the next generation die-hard battery the longest lasting die-hard ever the same die-hard you can buy at Sears don't trust your Sunday drives to anything less coverage of the Molson Indy Toronto brought to you by Molson Ice from Canada the land where ice was born Texaco Haviland Formula 3 motor oil Craftsman 2200 hand tools made in America guaranteed forever only at Sears and Firestone America's tire since 1900 back in the closing laps now 93 laps of 98 complete watching the battle for third place Teo Fabi is right there doing everything he can to get around Jack Villeneuve who started on the pole but only once in the history of this race has the pole sitter gone on to win and that was Michael Andretti in 1991 we'll be with you to the checkered flag here now at the front of the field Michael still holding off Bobby Rahal and this interval is just a little bit closer so for the moment we'll stay here like Jack pulls away, you know, he gets ahead a little bit, and then Bobby just seems to whittle it right back. So it's a real, real fight. From time to time, you get a view of Robbie Gordon, who is closing in from fifth place. Danny Sullivan just reported out of the race with a blown engine. He was running 18th at the time. Remember that Jerry Forsyth back at the lead, Michael and Ray Hall. Interestingly, Ray Hall, I mean, Michael has won four out of the last five races that he has won, run here. And now, after a dismal season, a year after winning his last race, which he did here, he's now in a position to win again. Is this a great track for him or what? Emerson Fittipaldi is the last car on the leader lap, running in 10th place. Of course, Allen's her junior out very early on. Interesting that Roger Penske has only won two of 23 Indy car races held in Canada. This is so exciting because Ray Hall again was able to pull up, you know, and, and chip that lead down, but where would he be able to pull off a pass with two cars that... that Robbie Gordon still closing on Tao. Look at him back there. I was going to say that Jerry Forsythe now owns Tao Bobby's car. He was partners with Barry Green, who owns the Bill Neff car last year. They split up, and so now there's a rivalry of owners as well as drivers on display here. Well, this is going to very quickly become a three-way battle as Teo tries to get Jack and Robbie Gordon tries to get them both. I right. would not advise moving offline on that corner, though. Not, not exactly. That's why you're seeing such caution. Just direct your eyes to the edges of the road. Take your eyes off the cars for a second. You see that gray line. That's that tire dust, the marbles. Gordon, of course, a championship contender very much. He is in a position to, he would be joyous if he saw Bill Neff and Bobby Tangle right in front of him. He'd drive by those guys with a huge smile on his face. Here's Michael. As dominant here on this track as Al Unser Jr. is at Long Beach. What a boost this will be for Michael, who has had such a frustrating year thus far. 95 laps complete. But Ray Hall is not out of it yet. I talked to Carl Haas. I said, do you think Michael will ever win? He said, oh, yeah, chomping on his cigar. He said, oh, yeah, 
Mikey will get a few this year. Like, Mikey could just go and reach and grab them off the shelf. And it's true, when he has a good day, he's that fast, he's that kind of a driver. What will this do to the points? Well, if they finish as they are now, Jack will continue his points lead with 118. Bobby Rahal in second with 94. And Robbie Gordon in third with 91. And Michael Andretti be in fourth with 90, followed by his teammate Paul Tracy in fifth. That's the points if they were to flag the race right at this moment. And remember, there are six races yet to go in the PPG season, so there's really quite a lot. We're not, we're around the two-thirds point. Boy, now we have an interesting situation. There's Guzelman just ahead of that battle. Remember the effect that he had on the lead earlier. Maybe Canadian television will get us back there in a second, but they wanted to get us on the white flag lap for the leader of the race, Michael Andretti. This is it for Ray Hall. If anything is going to happen, he's got one more major passing opportunity is going to come at the end of this long straightaway. It does not look like he's got a good run on Michael, who is protecting his position, taking a shallow line down that straightaway. Final chance of a turn here. No chance at all for Ray Hall. No traffic ahead either. Good news for Michael as he looks up the track. He's not going to be held up or doesn't look as if he is by a back marker. Michael Andretti through the final set of turns. Ray Hall still in pursuit, but not nearly close enough to take Michael out of the win. As Michael Andretti on his way to his first win of the season. Ray Hall still there and trying, loses the back end a little bit as he makes that final try. But here comes Michael Andretti. Final set of corners past the pit entrance. And Michael Andretti takes his 30th career win. And back-to-back -back wins his fifth here in Toronto. And Finally, for Michael, the frustration is over. Now, we keep an eye on this battle for a second. I want to tell you, we would like to interview Michael Andretti at the conclusion of the race. We watch, watch the battle for third. We're running out of time. We're going to try and do this interview and try and get Michael around as quickly as possible. We'll do the best we can for you. We continue to watch the battle for second. It's our third place. It remains unresolved. Now resolved with Jack Villeneuve crossing the line in third, then Teo Fabi, then Robbie Gordon, Raul Boisel in sixth, Adrian Fernandez, then Paul Tracy, Christian Fittipaldi in ninth, just ahead of his uncle Emerson Fittipaldi. Well, Michael, hustle it around here. We'd this... like to talk to you before this is over. Matter of fact, they are radioing him saying, hurry up, we want to try and get a quick interview because we're running very rapidly out of time here in Toronto. But Michael certainly has the right to celebrate. Here's the unofficial results of the race. Down through sixth place with Raul Boisel. We'll go through the entire order as Michael rolls his way towards winner's circle here as the winner once again. He really is tough on this circuit. And we've already mentioned what that will do to the points. Nothing has changed since that mention. Well, Michael Andretti has concluded as the winner here. This really gets the monkey off his back as far as this season is concerned. And look out in the future races. Let's go to Jack. Well, we're going to try and get a word with Michael Andretti, even with the helmet on. We're running out of time. Michael, congratulations. Oh, you can't believe what this means. I'll tell you, it's just so great. The monkey's finally off our back. Well, you know, as you take your helmet off, Michael, one of the things that you said in the feature that we did was the fact that your aggressiveness has paid in victories, and today it seemed to have come full tilt. I think so, yeah. We just drove as hard as we could the whole time. We were lucky on that first pit stop, the way the yellow came out, and uh, uh, Lee made a great call in calling us in the pits there. That really put us in a position to win. Well, congratulations to Michael Andretti. Let's go back upstairs to Paul Page. Michael Andretti, his first win driving for Newman Haas since Laguna Seca in 1992. He wears that little patch on his nose, you know, just like the football players. I said, Michael, does that help you? He says, no, but it sure looks great. There's the point standings right now as we leave Toronto. Next week, it's off to the Burke Lakefront Airport at Cleveland, where the Indy cars will go at it again. Congratulations to Michael Andretti. I'm Paul Page for Sam Posey, Lynn St. James, Gary Gerald, and Jack Aroot. We'll see you next week. This is Roger Twan.